Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about a career that has become increasingly important in our country today, becoming a Border Patrol agent with Customs and Border Protection. This is a challenging and rewarding job that requires bravery, intelligence, and a strong sense of duty, or if you like to professionally play hide and seek, this could be the job for you. Whether you're just starting your career journey or looking for a change, this video will give you an in-depth look at what it takes to become a Border Patrol agent and what you can expect once you're on the job. First, we'll take a look at what a typical day is like for a Border Patrol agent. From the use of technology to the physical demands of the job, you'll get a real sense of what the role entails. Then, I will show a video that demonstrates each step in the hiring process. And finally, I will show a video explaining what to expect in the Border Patrol Academy, where you will receive extensive training to prepare you for the challenges of the job. Patrol agents need to be self-motivated, independent. They have to be very comfortable with being on their own, dealing with rapidly evolving and potentially dangerous situations. Let's go. Well, I think you need to be a role model. You need to show your more junior members uh, what it what it means to be a good Border Patrol agent. It is prideful to know that you're you're out there protecting the rest of the United States. Before the Border Patrol, I actually worked in mental health for over 10 years, probably close to 20. It was a great career, but it was very sedentary. So when I heard about the Border Patrol and the idea of just being outside and being able to take a more active role in stopping things like drug trafficking or human trafficking, it really seemed like something that I would be good at and something I would enjoy. It's very fulfilling for me. I'd say at this point, I've, I've been in for 13 years, I've kind of moved into more of a leadership role. I'm a team lead for our sensor program, so we have about five guys working out of our office. We're very tight-knit. Nice try today, Melissa. You'll get it down one of these days. We work well together. It's a really good work environment. I am glad I came to Border Patrol. My grandfather was law enforcement, my uncle's law enforcement, my father is a firefighter. So first responders, things like that run in my family and uh, I just eventually found that that's where I was meant to be as well. We need people to join that know what they're getting themselves into and that uh, stick around so they can continue to use the experience that they gain in this job. There's just a lot of opportunity to do different things. Um, you have a lot of freedom here that you're not going to get at other agencies. With being a smaller station, you kind of know everyone, so that's nice. You have people from different shifts that'll help you out if need be. Each station is different. Each area is slightly different. Each area has so many different details. Our ATV units, our prosecutions, our intel. When we're fully operational, we have the flex team, which is our mountain team. We have a rapid response team. We've had hiking teams in the past. There's so many different places that need someone that's willing and able to step in and fill. There's always a need for more people. So absolutely go for it with all you've got. Now that you know more about what it's like to be an agent, I will now show you a video on the steps you need to take to apply for this job opportunity, which also at the moment is offering up to $20,000 on bonuses. 10,000 will be given to you once you get hired, and the other half will be given once you graduate the academy. Working at CBP isn't like any other job. Our hiring process has several steps but each one is necessary to make sure we're hiring people who are qualified and capable of doing this work. So if you're interested in CBP, here's what you need to know to complete our hiring process successfully for Border Patrol agent positions. 
Let's go step by step. First, you apply. You can find open positions through our website or usajobs.gov. You'll answer questions regarding your experience and readiness for the position and submit your resume, transcripts, and documents to verify your age and whether you're a veteran. After submitting your application, you'll be asked to complete a self-assessment called the Candidate Experience Record that tells us about your prior work experience and education. Then you'll take an entrance exam that tests your logical reasoning at an in-person facility. Both are important measures of whether you'll perform well at CBP. Then we'll review your exam results, your resume, and the other documents you submitted. Your resume is important, so be sure it's well written. It should help us understand your prior experience in education and why you're qualified and motivated to join CBP. If everything looks good, congratulations, you'll have a conditional offer. The next steps are important and you can help your application move quickly by preparing for them and completing them on time. After you receive your conditional offer, we'll send you an email with instructions to fill out an eKIP eKIP is the federal government's digital portal used to conduct background investigations. It asks for a lot of information, and it's essential that you fill it out completely and truthfully. Failing to provide all required information the first time can significantly lengthen your hiring process. You'll also receive an email from us to initiate your medical exam. The medical exam includes a medical history review, physician exam, and a vision and hearing test. Jobs at CBP are demanding, and we need to make sure you're medically and physically capable of performing the job safely. You will be responsible for scheduling your tests and submitting your medical documentation. So make sure you submit all the documentation requested. And be aware that CBP medical staff may call or email to request follow-up information. Last but not least, we'll email you instructions for your physical fitness test. If you're concerned about passing, the physical fitness test is something you can train for before you even apply. The earlier you get started, the better. See our website for more information and a suggested training plan. Then come your interviews. The structured interview consists of a three-person panel. They'll ask questions designed to measure your decision-making, emotional maturity, interpersonal skills, and more, seeking to understand if you have the competencies to be a successful member of our team. The pre-screening interview is designed to measure your likelihood of passing the background investigation. CBP requires every employee to be of good conduct and good character. That means all selected applicants need to go through the next three steps. The polygraph helps us verify applicants have no compromising personal issues or past behavior that would reflect poorly on their ability to be a responsible, reliable member of our team. For the background investigation, an investigator will verify the information you provided on your eKIP, including interviewing you, the personal and professional references you provide, and others. The drug test will verify that there are no concerns about your use of controlled substances. See our website for more information about the polygraph, the background investigation, and the drug test. If everything looks good, then you're in. You'll receive your offer to join our community and be a part of our mission. Be prepared. Our hiring process can be lengthy, and there are some things that'll be out of your control, like the time it takes to schedule your polygraph or to review and process your exam results. But there are many things that are in your control and that you can do to help your application go through faster. Read all instructions thoroughly, provide all information requested, and complete and submit all forms and documentation as soon as possible. And we may ask you to do multiple steps at once to help speed the process along. And remember, CBP is here to help you along the way. You'll be notified of each action or step you need to complete via email. And you can contact the hiring center at any point if you need help or have questions. It's a rigorous process because it's a rigorous job. We're here to help and to make sure that once you're hired, you're ready to go beyond. If you're interested in applying, join our talent network to learn more or head to cbp.gov slash careers slash apply now to start your application. As you can see, this process can be long, dreaded, and tiring. But if you stick to it, you can definitely make it 
And now lastly, I will show you a video demonstrating what should you expect if you get hired in the Academy of the Border Patrol, which is located in Artesia, New Mexico. If you're interested in becoming a Border Patrol agent, it's important that you're prepared to attend the U.S. Border Patrol Academy in Artesia, New Mexico. The Border Patrol Academy is one of the most demanding federal law enforcement academies in the United States. It's here that new recruits learn the physical, technical, and mental skills they'll need on the job. And every recruit goes to the academy. So let's tell you what you can expect. You'll complete 117 days of instruction over the course of 24 weeks and must pass everything from knowledge-based multiple choice tests to field-based scenarios and exercises in order to graduate. Our physical techniques department teaches self-defense tactics, will train you on less lethal equipment, and will elevate your physical conditioning. You must meet or exceed these minimum qualifications to pass your physical techniques exam. You'll also receive firearms training, including work with handguns, shotguns, rifles, and proper tactics and sound decision making. The driver training department will teach you to search vehicles, conduct patrols and pursuits, and more with a mix of classroom time and practical exercises. Tactical training will give you the skills to respond to a variety of tense or dangerous situations that field agents face, including room clearing, active shooters, and riot control. The operations program will teach you how to handle the technology you'll use on the job and give you an understanding of the role Border Patrol agents play in our national security strategy. And the law program will ensure you understand our nation's immigration laws and how to properly and legally exercise your authority as a law enforcement professional. In addition, you'll receive 182 hours of Spanish language instruction. That covers what you'll learn at the academy. Next, let's cover what life will be like during your training. About a month before your academy start date, we'll send you a welcome letter with detailed instructions. Then, a few days before your academy start date, you'll report to your sector headquarters for pre-academy orientation. From there, you'll travel to the academy on CBP-provided transportation. The academy is rigorous and intense, and you can't continue as a Border Patrol agent without graduating. That means you'll need to be mentally and physically present in order to balance your training requirements and succeed. Let your family and friends know that communication will be limited during training hours from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. Weekends will be your time to relax and prepare for the coming week. You'll be paid your normal salary during your time at the Academy, and you can request up to 40 hours of leave after you graduate to reconnect with friends and family or take some well-deserved R&R. So how can you prepare? The biggest thing you can do is ensure you're in good physical condition. That'll make the physical components of the academy easier. And make sure to prepare your family and personal affairs before you leave so you can focus on training while you're there. Our most successful recruits are the ones that commit, dig deep, and prepare. For more information about the Border Patrol Academy, visit our website. Check out CBP's USBP Win podcast on YouTube or anywhere you find podcasts. Or visit our Instagram at BP Academy Chief, our Facebook at U.S. Border Patrol Academy, and our Twitter at BP Academy Chief. If you haven't already, join our talent network to learn more about positions at CBP. Or head to cbp.gov careers apply dash now to start your application. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope it has given you a better understanding of what it takes to become a Border Patrol agent with Customs and Border Protection. If you're interested in pursuing this career, I encourage you to visit USA Jobs and type Border Patrol agent in the search bar. Good luck!